Hi, uh, today we're going to teach you guys how to do a three ball cascade. Now this is the first trick that you should learn when you're juggling. It's going to look like this. And there's many tricks that we can build off this, but this is the base pattern that you want to learn with three balls. Now the best way to go about that is start with this one ball. So drop your other two. Um, now what you want to think is keep your hands down nice and low. And we want to do a nice triangle throw from each hand like that. So picture basically you've got a box like this. Hands in the bottom corner of the box. Throw the ball to the opposite corner. Now it's not a flick out of your fingers, it's not rolling out of your hand, you kind of want to bring it down and pop it up. It's sort of an explosion out of your palm like that. Once you're pretty comfortable with that, doing the same each time, you want to be able to draw the line. So imagine you've got a canvas in front of you and you're painting that pattern every time. If you're confident that you're painting the same pattern out of each hand, grab your second ball. We want to throw our first one just like before, so start with your favourite hand. We throw that up and when it's at the peak of that throw, so right at the top corner of that box, we throw the second ball on the inside of it. All right. Now don't go too low, it's a bit rushed to start with, don't go too high or you'll lose accuracy. Just above your head is a pretty good heart to start with. Like that. Now to start with, yours might look something like this, alright? But um, keep on going until you can get them to go the same height. Some things to think about, uh, especially with one ball, it's good to practice it. Let the ball drop into your hand like that. So don't chase it, let it fall to your hands. So try and always throw it from the same spot, nice and low, just like this. Same thing with your two balls, throw it up. Let it drop into your hand. So throw, throw, catch, catch. All right, once you're happy with that, grab your third ball. And this time, uh, when our second ball gets to the top corner, we throw our third. So this goes one, two, three, like that. You might even want to practice. I like to hold my balls sideways like this. So we go one, two. Just practice getting that release out of that hand. Get your one, two going. And if you're happy that your second ball is the same height as your first, one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. Now to start with, just go for that one, two, three, and catch it. And once again, yours might look like this to start with, all over the place. But keep going till the third one's the same height. And if you're happy that it's the same height, you can keep going. One, two, three, four, and catch it. And if it's the right height, Keep on going. Every time you've got a ball at the top corner of that box, throw the next one. The lower you go, the faster your hands are going to go. So if you're comfortable doing that, then go for it. But when you're learning, height is time. Keep your throws high. Make sure you catch low and throw from the same spot. That's all I'm going to show you for that one. But keep on practicing. Try and get one more throw each time. So when you've got four throws comfortable, try to push yourself and try and get a fifth one. But if you find yourself chasing your balls, catch them and start again. Try and stay stationary, lean back a little bit, get underneath the balls and throw them up. If you lean forwards, the balls are going to go forwards. Okay?